Centre Parks really does have it all when it comes to adventure. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie, a plain Jane, or quite simply want to relax and play Monopoly in the forest, I'm here with my tips and advice just for you. I'm James Farrow, let's get started. Hello and welcome to my video. Thank you for joining me. I'm hopefully going to spend the remainder of this video trying to help you with some tips and advice that might aid you into either choosing to book a Centre Parks trip or whether you're literally in the car on the way to your Centre Parks trip. It all started, I'll uh, probably say 1995 or 96. So I was about four? It's a while ago. And it was definitely in 19 something. And my dad would take me and my sister to centre parks. And it was the most exciting thing because obviously we were young. It's probably the first trip I ever had away with him. But I loved being chauffeured around the forest by my dad in this yellow buggy. But just sitting in the back there with my dad taking me where I wanted to go. He hated it probably because I, it did get, he was my chauffeur basically. And my sisters, it wasn't just me, I wasn't the only one, the bad one. Sadly, we lost my dad, he died in 2005. So we stopped going really, and we stopped thinking that we could go there and make memories until 2016, when we went back to Elverdon Forest, and we took my mum, and we took the dogs, and kind of relived what we, what we used to have, the magic was still there and it kind of relit a bit of excitement for us. So ever since then, we decided to make Centre Parks a bit of an annual thing. Obviously a lot has changed due to COVID and my experience, tips and advice are solely from when I went and I haven't been since COVID kicked off. The last time we went was March 2020. Anyway, let's crack on with some tips and advice. Which forest should I book? I think if it's your first Centre Parks trip, definitely go to your nearest because you won't have anything to compare it to. Although a five or six hour road trip does come with its perks. <laughs> you'll find that certain centre parks have maybe bigger versions of something. Let's take Windfell Forest and Longley as comparison. Windfell Forest is great, do not get me wrong, the views are incredible, you're in Penrith. I've been a few times and it snowed. We love playing adventure golf and the adventure golf in Windfell Forest is nowhere near as good as the Adventure Golf in Longleat. And also the Rapids, the Longleat Rapids, I think is better than the Elverdon Rapids and the Windfell Rapids. Oh, I mean, you come out with some bruises, you look like you've been in a fight because if you go down there about 28 times like we do in the space of half an hour, I mean, you do get thrown around a bit and you probably end up with someone's toenail in your eye. And that's the main reason why we travel to Longley. My top tip would be to book the nearest one your first trip, but and then do some research on YouTube because there's loads of videos out there. And if you want to have more of an experience in a certain area, then go to a different forest. It's completely worth it. Next, I wanna talk about which accommodation you should choose. You get a choice of a three night stay, which is a weekend, I think, Friday to Monday. A four night stay, Monday to Friday, or a seven night stay, Monday to Sunday, depending on how long you actually want to stay there and obviously part up with the people that you're going with. If you think you'll end up killing someone, then probably just stick with the three night stay. That's what we do. 
when we normally go, there's normally three of us, and we normally go for what's cheapest, to be honest, because we don't normally spend much time in the accommodation. We normally just go there and we're happy to even just be out of the house and in this incredible setting of the forest that we'll prefer to spend the money on activities and doing things that we don't normally do. Just a tip about your accommodation as well, upon booking your actual accommodation on the website, you can actually pay a small fee to actually choose if you want to be closer to a specific area. This really helps, especially if you stay in a larger forest such as Longneat, because if you don't want to hang around for that road train, then you will want to be a little bit closer to the action. But just to take you through some of the actual accommodation. So the cheapest one they have at the moment is the Woodland Lodge. This is a, the most basic one, but again, honestly, I've stayed in this before and it is great, it's, it's exactly what you need. It says here, practical and popular, which it is because of the price. You also have the Executive Lodge, which is the next tier up. This gives you an ensuite for each bedroom and some even come with their own private sauna. You then have the Exclusive Lodge, which is the next price bracket. This comes with your ensuite, sauna, hot tub, and games room with a pool table they've created is only at Elvedon Forest, their waterside lodges, and they look so good. That's something that they won't offer at every forest. So again, just going back to my previous point, if you want something specific from your trip, like accommodation, sometimes activities, it is best to search around so then we come to the tree houses. Now every Centre Parks Forest has a tree house. I was doing some research on this and they have only about three or four. And then when we see the price, we think we'd need to mortgage something or we'd need to sell a limb. I think they're around about 2000 pounds. You can get up to eight guests. I don't necessarily have eight friends that would want to spend the weekend with me. It has a dedicated host don't know what that means. I'm now picturing a butler. I'm actually just gonna have a bit of a search. So let's pretend I want to know how much tree houses are. <gasps> I said a tree house, you'd probably be looking about 2,000 pounds. For a four bedroom tree house with a games room and a hot tub, 3,799 pounds. Again, that's quite reasonable. Per night, £118 each, if you had eight people, eight friends. I don't know how that feels. One thing to make note of as well with the accommodation, if you have pets, you cannot just rock up with your pet. But there's actual dedicated dog areas at centre parks where they have fenced off areas where you can let them off. And obviously they put all the dogs together if people want to go away and they don't want to hear dogs barking or they don't want to be around dogs then you're just in your own area so that's something to look out for as well you need to input whether you're taking your pet only your dog though not your fish what happens on arrival now again this has changed slightly because of covid you can now arrive at the actual center parks village from 2 p.m and you have access to your actual accommodation from 4 p.m this used to be from 3 p.m but i think they've extended this just so they can clean the accommodation and have a little bit longer because obviously the turnaround that you have to leave from 10 a.m and then they need that little bit longer to actually get your um, accommodation cleaned and ready for you when you arrive so you're in the traffic jam and then you'll turn up to a hut and they will give you a map and they'll show you where your accommodation is they will circle it and they'll give you a wristband. Now your wristband, if you've ever been to Walt Disney World, it's like a magic band. It has your key on it to actually get into your accommodation. But also if you'd like to go swimming, it will have the key for your locker as well. So don't lose it and probably don't give it to your kids. So once you've gone past that, you'll then reach a car park. If you want to venture out and have a look around, which we have done before, we've left the car in the car park, 
and had a bit of a walk around and then it gets to the point where you can drive to your accommodation. Now, everybody seems to lose patience. Everybody just wants to get to their accommodation at the same time. So queues are forming in the car park and then you just the gate opens, so you drive into your accommodation and you have parking outside your accommodation, but do not be fooled, you cannot leave your car there. You can unload, you get all your stuff into the lodge, you come back into the car, and then you take it back to the car park, and then that is where your car stays for the duration of your stay. Now, if you're like us and we have traveled a long way to get to center parks and you don't wanna miss any more of the day because you have paid for that day as well we'll put our swimming stuff on and then we'll take the car back because where you normally park is where the main area is so that's your swimming your subtropical swimming paradise if your accommodation is far away and if you're in Longleat forest my god you need to give yourself a good four hours to walk to the swimming pool unless the train is around the corner because they have a road train and it saves so much time you honestly stick thin by the time you come back from a long lead trip if you have hired bikes then the cycle center is normally very close to where you drop the car off so you'd pick your bike up at the same time so you drop the car off and then you'd get a bike Okay, so what is included in your center parks break? You can have a great time at center parks. You don't have to book activities. You can just turn up and have a great time. Just make sure you bring all your food. If you've heard horror stories that it's like 27 pounds 50 for a loaf of bread, it's not that bad, but that's probably where they lure you in. So they, they give you ham for 50p, but then you need the butter and the bread to go with the ham. And then that, as I said, that's about. 19 pounds. So yeah, if you don't want to spend too much, just make sure that you're prepared and you bring everything with you. The swimming pool is free. You do need to now pre-book a time slot for the subtropical swimming paradise and that's limited. I think if you go for a Friday to Monday trip, you can only go in there two times. And if you go Monday to Friday, it's three times. It's just to limit the amount of people because it does get busy in there. I mean, going down those rapids when you get someone's toenail in your mouth, you don't want that on the best of days, let alone during a global pandemic. Lockers are included when you swim as well. So that whole swimming experience is free for you and your family. You've also got the Water Sports Lake, but what is on the lake is chargeable. So you don't get all of that for free. You do have to pay for that. You have a nice sandy beach that is free. So you can sit on the beach for free and watch everybody do their chargeable activities on the actual Water Sports Lake. There's a section what's included in your accommodation. You have your hairdryer bedding, obviously towels but these are just for your accommodation so you do need to also bring your own towels for the pool they also have a footstool for the bathroom which is rather nice of them three dishwasher tablets a tea towel and washing up liquid sachet you only get one sachet so again i think bring your own washing up liquid because if you're going to eat a lot one sachet is not enough You've also got your pots, pans, utensils, cutlery, plates and bowls. Very obvious that that would be there. You also have a log burner, but just to point out that your logs are not free. So your log burner is free because it's in your room and that's included, but you do need to pay for the logs. And free friendly Wi-Fi, what more do you need? Private patio with a brick built barbecue stand, but just be aware that it's a brick built barbecue stand. So you do need to bring a disposable barbecue with you or you can get that from the shop that is on offer. On site. Again, if you don't want to spend too much, head to the bar area, get yourself some tap water. A pound in the pool table or the snooker table, Bob's your uncle. But maybe, maybe don't get tap water. You're not really gonna have a fun night if you just have tap water. Um, 
at least go sparkling. Do I need to book activities? If there's something that you really want to do, and that's why you go into center parks, book it before. I think you can do it 60 days before or 30. I don't know whether I'm getting confused with Disney Fast Passes, but I'm pretty sure you can do it 60 days in advance. Now that seems, that seems Fast Passy. You can do it a few days in advance, a few weeks in advance. Just make sure you do it. Different forests will have different activities and some will be better than others. We do golf all the time and at Longley I would definitely recommend doing the 18 holes. I think it's really cheap to be honest. If you've got under 12s it's £7.75 and if you are obviously over 12, which some of you will be, it's £9.25. In comparison to 9 holes it's £7.25 and £6.25. Get all the holes in that you can. We've done the archery at Longley and Winfell. At Winfell you got a choice if you wanted to do like serious archery or whether you wanted to do fun archery. We decided to do the fun archery. And it was really funny and the guy there has the best outlook on life. Oh, I'm gonna say something. You are a loser to your friend over here. She's got the better technique. Oh yeah. Okay. You're losing to everybody. Thank you. Okay. All right guys, off you go. He's brilliant. But then we did the archery at Longley and it was a lot more serious and you didn't have the option of doing a fun version of it. Just do the research because we prefer the archery at Winfell but then we prefer the golf at Longley. Another must do is hire a tennis or badminton court. It's a great way to start your trip if you want a brief moment of convincing yourself that you're fit and healthy. Then because you've been such a top athlete for 45 minutes, you can then hop over to the pancake house for some breakfast. Heck, whilst you're there, you might as well stay for lunch and tea too. Badminton is £9.50 for 45 minutes. A great way to wind down at night time if you want to do something for the whole family. You can head over to the bowling alley and it's £29.50 for 45 minutes or £32.50 for one hour. One of our favourite activities to do is the forest adventure quiz. My top tip would be to do this early on in your trip as it's a great way to familiarise yourself with the forest layout. You're also doing this head to head with other families and you might think you're completely screwed if they're on bikes and you're not, but never fear because the road train is here. That is not classed as cheating and it's something that I don't think a lot of people think about. Use this as your advantage because we did and we ended up winning. So get on that bad boy. I've done quad biking at Longley and Winfell and again I preferred it at Winfell Forest. Winfell is honestly a great place to go. If you go with your mum and she decides to ignore the actual instructor and take her own route and then you are right behind her and you don't realise that she's not following the instructor and she decides to go up a massive incline that's not made for quad bikes and you follow her and then she decides that she is obviously going the wrong way, gets to the top and stops, but you're right behind her on an incline on a wet, muddy slope, and then you stop. We got showered at, and I stalled, and yeah. So now let's talk about dining at the Centre Parks Villages. You don't have to dine out, but if you do, they have plenty on offer. We made the decision to eat at the Lakeside Inn and try out their adult carvery. I'm very particular with roast dinners and although this was a 7 out of 10, I do get very confused when restaurants try to serve roast potatoes that aren't crispy. They were more like boiled potatoes and they did seem like they'd been sat there a while, but I wasn't too impressed. Our favourite and probably the one that we've eaten the most at is Rajinder Pradesh. We've had that at Longleat and Winfell and it's curry, it's an Indian and it's so lovely. And we actually did a set menu which I think was about £25 which included your main, your side, drink and it was really worth the money and it's lovely food. You 
pay five pounds to actually book it in advance again we booked it with our activities but that five pound comes off the bill that you have to pay so if you're doing the set menu and it's 25 pounds you pay the five pounds months before and then when you get there you actually only have to pay 20 pounds that's something i like to do another absolute must is the pancake house without a doubt my favorite place to go we've been for breakfast pancakes and dessert pancakes and i can't really decide which i prefer because they're all amazing for the breakfast pancake i had sausage and beans which was incredible and also a black forest stack pancake not on the same day i might add although if we'd just done badminton i probably would have this stack put me in a sugar coma for the rest of the day but i currently have no regrets from the pancake house and i would strongly recommend heading there for breakfast lunch or dinner because you will not be disappointed so our next trip is actually going to be during covid times and hopefully it's going to be a little bit better by the time we go but we are planning a new trip in september and we are traveling to woburn forest i've never been to woburn forest but Again, we like the look of the rapids and we just want a bit of a different experience. They have some really great looking restaurants on offer there and I just like that feeling of getting somewhere new, going somewhere new, that you can have a different experience with and you don't really know the layout of the forest. I find that quite exciting and just have a completely different experience, but also a guaranteed experience because you've been to loads of other centre parks and you know how they work. Anyway, I hope I've helped. I hope I've answered some of your questions. If you have any other questions, just comment on this video below and I will try to answer them shortly. Thank you and take care and stay safe.